Whenever you want to drive a track in a set of Corsa competitions multiplayer, you more than likely have to prove your track knowledge and abilities to the game first, as most servers are limited to players who have 3 out of 3 possible track medals. To unlock those medals, you have to drive consecutive clean laps without going off track or losing control of your car. The first medal is awarded after one clean lap, the second one after two consecutive clean laps, and the third after four consecutive clean laps. Now, as you might already know from personal experiences, this has the potential to be a rather long process since your progress resets after you made a mistake and driving 7 slow laps in a row is just plain boring. So why not speed it up a bit and do 7 consecutive hot laps instead? Spoiler alert, this is quite a bad idea since by definition during a hot lap you are trying to set the lowest lap time possible and are therefore trying to maximize the track which in itself will inevitably lead to some off tracks sooner or later, which as I mentioned before, resets your whole progress. Now if you are anything like me and opt for hot laps instead of slow laps, I may have found a way to exploit ACC system and make earning track medals a lot more relaxed, I guess. But before I show you how to potentially cheese the system, I just wanted to clarify that the idea behind this video is not malicious in any way, but rather to get confirmation from you guys that this is indeed a bug or rather an exploit, and if this is the case, I'm going to report it to the devs. Anyhow, first let's take a look at how the track rating system works. As I mentioned before, you have to drive consecutive laps without losing control of the car or going off track. Furthermore, the whole track is split into sections and for each section you successfully pass, you'll get one green bar in the top right corner. As soon as this bar is full, you unlock one track medal and get a new challenge. However, if you happen to spin out or simply go off track, the bar will turn red, your progress resets and you have to start from the beginning. However, from my observations, I found a tiny window where you can stop the bar from resetting after an error. So let's take a look at this example. As you can see in the top right, I'm in the middle of the challenge for my last track medal, but as I approach this corner, I unfortunately mistook the clutch for the brake pedal and do a big spinara. Now, as you can see, I reset the lap by going back to the pits to start over again. Once again, I've already successfully completed one clean lap and a bit, but make the same mistake again. But this time, as soon as I notice the bars in the top right turning red, I'm instantly pausing the game and go back to garage. Now, if I continue driving, my rating should be reset since I spun out, but since I immediately paused the game, I somehow managed to interrupt the reset of my progress bar. And as you can see here, the bar continues to progress normally as if nothing ever happened. Now, maybe you suspect that this is only possible in one specific corner, or by spinning all in one exact way, without receiving the invalidated lap message from the game. So to further prove my point, I did the same thing again in another corner and with the game invalidating my lap. Feel free to test it out yourself, but please also keep in mind that there is a reason the track rating is in the game and that servers can limit their access by this rating. So yeah, this was basically it for this rather controversial video. Please confirm in the comments that this is indeed a bug so that we can get rid of it by reporting it to the developers. Anyhow, if you happen to enjoy this video, you could consider subscribing to the channel for more sim racing content. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.